And another influence is uh, Christianity. Uh, some of the months are named after the Great Spirit Moon, the birth of the of the Great Spirit, you know, the birth of the birth of Jesus Christ. It 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 uh, commemorates that, and even days of the week. Most people think those days, of the names for the days of the week, are such sacred knowledge. They uh, say, "How do you say Monday? Uh, how do you say Sunday? Aname e gijigat. How do you say Monday? Ishkwa aname e gijigat. How do you say Tuesday? Nijo gijigat. What is Wednesday? Abe tuse. What is Thursday? Nio gijigat. What is Friday? Nano gijigat. What is Saturday? Gizibi gi saginage gijigat. And so they walk away just proud. Oh, I know some Ojibwe. But really, you know what you're doing? When you talk about it in English, it sounds really silly. And they, but in Ojibwe, it sounds really cool. How do you say Sunday? Prayer day. Really? Anishinaabe only pray once a day or once a week? Well, that's a dominant culture concept. So you can see the influence of uh, Christianity there. So what is the word for Monday? Oh, that just means the day after prayer day. <laughs> oh, okay, you know, you sound foolish when you're asking. How about Tuesday? Well, Tuesday means uh, the second day. Really? <laughs> and so, uh, Wednesday, what's, what does Abba Tuesday mean? Middle of the week. Duh. Where's the spirituality in that? What is Thursday? Neo Gizgat, the fourth day. What is Friday? Nano Gizgat, the fifth day. Oh, <laughs> what's Saturday? Washing Floors Day. We're so busy, we don't have time to wash the floors, we'd only do it on Saturday. So when I, when I hear that, and I hear those words for those certain words, I says that's not traditional.